A very famous example of this song is Tuna Don La Vida by Indila. It's uh, it's the top G anthem. Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys 10 crazy chord progressions that I think every producer should know. And before we get started, make sure to go tap in with me on social media at Enviral, but let's lock in. All right, so you guys can see I already have 10 chords lined up and I'm gonna go over each chord progression and kind of explain how it works and how you can use it in your beats. And if you guys want the midis for these chords, I'll have that in the description, so make sure to go tap in. So before I talk about the progressions, I wanna kind of explain how they work in most of my videos when i talk about chords i use numbers uh or like roman numerals so what that means is like in each scale you have a number attached to every note so in c major c is one d is two and then so on you go all the way up to seven with b and then it goes to um, one again because you don't have eight notes you only have seven um, so then when you make chords with each scale degree you can have you know your diatonic chords in a major key so you have uh, major minor minor major major minor and then diminished for the last chord most of you guys are probably already familiar with that so i'm not going to go too much in detail but that's pretty much how the numbers work and i'm going to use roman numerals so hopefully you're not like super slow so you can understand <laughs> The capital letters mean that it's a major chord and the lowercase means it's a minor chord versus if we just use numbers it would not really be clear what's going on all right so that's enough explanation let's go ahead and get started with the first progression all right so the first chord progression we have is six five and four so um, we have a six minor and then five four or major you've definitely heard that so many times like it's a super basic chord progression we have a minor uh, g major and then F major. It's just a regular like falling chord progression. You know, you start with A minor. Uh, a really famous song that actually uses this chord progression is Take Care by Drake and Rihanna. And then I really like this part when the guitar comes in. It's my birthday, I get high if I want to. You can see the chords that I have drawn are very boring because they're in root position. But if you actually like change up the chords a little bit, uh, you know, add some interesting voicings, you can actually get like really interesting melodies just with these simple chords. So that's the first one let's move on okay so for the next one this is uh, a little bit more complicated than the very basic ass one that i just showed you guys let me play it and then it goes up and then comes back down so again it sounds kind of trash when it's played in root positions but it pretty much goes from one goes to two so minor three minor and then um four major and then it goes to six minor five major four and then back to our home chord which is c and which is one uh the really interesting thing about this progression is that it kind of you know you kind of want to build it and then uh, release it again by bringing it down so And uh, the really famous example that uses these chords is Come Sail Away by Styx. It goes something like this. Goaded Song, it only uses the first half of the progression actually because it doesn't really go uh, up here. But still nevertheless very interesting because it does this stepwise motion. And you, you also hear this in a lot of like gospel kind of songs they do like right, the third one let me play it so you can actually go ahead and change this chord to something else if you want you can change it to like f major and here this chord progression is one dominant three uh, minor four and then one again so let me explain what this chord is this chord might be a little confusing to some of you guys because technically g sharp is not part of c major so we have you know c major and then we go to the three chord 
but instead of minor which it's usually minor in c major we have e minor but instead of that it's e major so we're making it into a dominant chord uh which basically means we're making it major in order to kind of lead into uh f major or a minor better so by making it into a dominant chord it kind of leads better into f major or a minor so here's what it sounds like dominant three four or dominant three um six and this is what the full progression would sound like and i'm definitely adding cool voicings adding sevens and stuff but you know the bare minimum would be something like this and a famous a really famous example of this is imagine by john lennon So it's just the it's I, I just wanted to highlight the dominant three in there. It goes from dominant three to uh, to four in this case, but you know it's a very interesting and very uh, famous kind of transition that you, you your ear is definitely used to that. You might not really know what it's called, but there you go. Uh, it's called the dominant three chord. All right, so for the next one, this is another very famous kind of progression that you've definitely heard a lot, and you probably recognize the sound of it, but you probably don't know what it's called or uh, you know what's happening. All right, this is what it sounds like. So it's very simple. It's only two chords actually. So we're going from one uh, to minor four. So you can see the one is obviously major because it's C major, but the four chord is usually F, F major. But here we're making it into a minor chord. This kind of makes it sound very uh, melancholy and um, I don't know, almost like bittersweet. You often hear these, um, these kind of chords in very bittersweet songs or maybe movie soundtracks. Uh, this is an example of how you could use it. So the really cool thing that you, you could do is, you know, you go up to F major, play F major, and then play F minor after that, and then go to C. The reason this transition works, even though it's kind of like a weird uh, pair of chords, is it's because when, when we're in F minor, we only change two notes, that is the F and then the uh, G sharp. We, we move these both down one semitone and we get C major. So it's like a very clean transition because we're not moving notes too far apart. Uh, so anytime you go from your four chord to your one chord, that's called a plagal cadence. But uh, but because we're doing it from a minor four to a major one, it's called a minor plagal cadence. A very famous example of this chord progression is actually Creep by Radiohead. It goes something like this. So we go from one to dominant three two four major four and then minor four Cause I'm a creep, I'm a widow, like that chord is like so crazy so the next one is actually kind of funny let me just play this one and then we'll talk about it So you can see, once again, it's super basic. We're going from our six chord to our five. Uh, so six is minor, five is major, and then uh, one chord, major, and then four, major. So again, this is one of those chord progressions that you really have to juice up, otherwise it's gonna sound super cringe. that's one example of how to do it a very famous example of this all the right moves by one republic it, it literally uses these chords i think in the same key
But yeah, you know, super fire song and the chords are also very basic. Hopefully this shows you that the chords really don't have to be super complicated for the song to be fire. You just gotta be able to make it work and make it catchy. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one is again, super interesting, and but super simple. Let me play it. So again, it's like one of those falling chord progressions. Uh, we're literally starting in A minor and going down the scale. But the other weird thing about this also is that instead of playing our, you know, last chord as a minor chord, which it technically is supposed to be because G sharp is not part of C major, we're making it into a dominant chord again. And this is called the Andalusian Cadence. I think it's very Spanish kind of inspired, like flamenco music. You can definitely hear that even in these trash voicings, like it just sounds very Spanish and kind of like, you know, arriba. For example, this sounds very Spanish. One famous example of this is the song Hit Throw Jack by Ray Charles. They actually changed the root notes, but kind of play the same chord over. But um, this is what it sounds like. Another very famous example of this is the song Shape of My Heart by Sting. Uh, but you can see it's literally going down these chords Except the way they play it, uh, you know, the way Dominic Miller kind of wrote it is not really uh, that basic because it has this kind of structure with it But the bass notes are literally going down so that's another very unique example of how you can, you know, turn uh, pretty basic sounding chords into a very iconic melody. All right, so for the next one, let's go to seven. Uh, this this one is also this one is more dark uh, and less kind of like cheerful. And the reason it's more dark is because it's using uh, all minor chords and then one dominant chord. So we're starting on the second minor chord, and then going to the sixth chord. And then um, again to the second and then dominant three again so the dominant three really works well with minor chords three six two and a very famous example of this song is tuna don la vida by indila it's uh it's the top g anthem <laughs> Alright, so the next one is very simple and it sounds like this. So we're going from 1 to 6 to 4 to 5. Very basic. And um, I actually literally heard, heard the melody in my head when I was playing this, but a famous example of this uh, chord progression is the song Hallelujah by uh, Leonard Cohen. goes to the second half dominant three but you can see the this progression is really cool again because it, it uses the dominant three lyrics literally say uh, the major lift the minor fall the major lift and that literally explains what this chord is doing. It's lifting the melody up. R.I.P. Leonard Cohen, that song is crazy. But um, let's move on to the next one. I mean like that's the most like atrocious sounding chord progression, Loki. That makes me wanna shoot myself whenever I hear that, especially in this voicing. Uh, so we have minor, minor four, or minor six, and then four, 
one five that's the most like stereotypical chord progression ever and there's like a gazillion songs that use this but one famous example that comes to mind is the song uh, wake me up by avicii again r.i.p avicii But, but, you know, you can definitely do a lot of cool things with this chord progression. If you just change up some of the notes, maybe uh, add a cool voicing here and there. And that brings us to the last chord progression, which is another very simple one, but very important because you can use it so many in, in so many different ways. It sounds like this. So very simple and very iconic, you know, just going from uh, four, five, six. And oftentimes you use this with, you know, the, you, you kind of use this like that maybe falling and then going back up that sounds very like kind of basic and cringe but um you know you can definitely juice it up to make something super interesting but one famous example of this is running up that hill by kate bush And that's pretty much all of the 10 chords that I had for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and learned a lot. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to hit the like button and also comment below what you thought of this. And also subscribe so you don't miss my future uploads. But that's it for this one and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.